everyone. How are you all doing? It is the weekend and we are here on day 21. 21 days to 25 days for amazing looking skin. Well, when it comes on to tonight, we are going to be changing up things a little bit. I promised yesterday that we're going to kind of spice it up a bit. So the order of the show is the first five minutes, we're going to do our regular shout out. We are going to take, um, you know, a few questions and so on. The next 20 minutes of the show, we are going to be talking about skincare on a whole. Half an hour into the show, we are going to be having a game. And the game that we're going to be having is one that I really want to try with you guys, and that is the drinking game. Now, this show, if you are not over age, the drinking is not for you. However, if you're over 21 and you want to be drinking tonight with us, you can. The game is you're going to ask me whatever question you want to ask. Lucy is going to select the question from the chat. And then if I want to answer the question that Lucy select, then I will answer if i do not want to answer the question then i have to drink okay and i'm sure some of you might be you know aware of this uh, drinking game so that is going to be the last half an hour of the show so when we get there we will talk about it but there are some perks that's going to come along with the drinking game which we will talk about later so that is the order of the show we're going to do our regular you know, meet and greet. And then we're going to talk about our skincare journey. We're going to see how well you guys are doing. And at the end of the 30 minutes, we're going to be doing our drinking game. And we, you're going to be free to ask whatever question you want to ask me, mostly about myself. Okay. So if I want to answer, I will. If I do not want to answer the question, then I will have to drink. To be fair, I am not going to select the questions. I'm going to let Lucy select the questions. Okay, Lucy? So you're going to select questions from the question. And I probably will take about 10 personal questions. Okay? So that is it. So stay tuned. We have some fun and exciting things coming up tonight. So if you're just joining or if you're new to the challenge, we're having a 25 days challenge. The 25 days challenge is you're going to do different... Um, procedure to your skin for 25 nights straight what you miss so far you miss steaming we're steaming our face for 25 days we are also exfoliating our skin two to three times per week which we are right now into day four so if you are a little late you know, you still can cut, catch on. We are also taking care of our eyes and we are also doing our facial mask. For facial masks, some people are doing it four times a week. Some people are doing it three times a week. However, the step is steaming every night, taking care of your eyes, exfoliating three to four times for the week or every other day and doing a facial mask at least two times per week so that's where we are we also have a word of the day for the show so every day for the next 25 days we will be given a word of the day now we are also giving away 25 gifts for the 25 days how to enter to be in the drawing you will have to watch the show comment the word of the day the word of the day is normally somewhere in the middle somewhere along you will catch on and you definitely will know what the word of the day is now if you comment on this video tonight your name will be in the drawing for tomorrow night also if you comment on the entire 25 days your name will be in the grand drawing which is december 25th so that is how we are doing it this is our way of doing our vlogmas. Most people are making videos. We are doing our 25 days vlogmas as a live stream. Welcome to Countdown to the Holidays with Chichi Beauty. Now, first things first, let's welcome our moderator, Lucy, to the chat. How are you doing, Lucy? Thank you for being here. And thank you for always, always, you know, 
supporting and making sure that everything goes right on the channel. We also have our member of the channel. We have um, Sergio. Let's see who is here already. And I thought I saw um, Loretta and Jill. And we also have, let's see who's on the top. Magdalene is here. Now, how do we fund Jason? Hi, Jason. Jason is always, always early. How do we fund the gift giving? It's not sponsored. We get our funding from the members of the channel and the rest, the makeup is from yours truly, me, okay? All right, so let's do some shout out. Hello, Keisha, um, Cheryl, um, Everil, E-V-E-R-I-L, how are you? Good evening. You have complete from day one to now. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And she said, let me tell you, the mask was the bomb. That's what I like to hear. My face is feeling like a baby. No joke. And perfect, perfect, perfect. We also have Keisha. Good night. We have Jackie Mom. Good night to you all. I did aloe vera and egg white. I am going to wash it off now. So people are really taking this thing serious. Now we also have Francesca. How are you? Welcome to the show. And we also have, let me scroll down. We also have uh, Makeup Forever. Hi, how oh, are you, Jackie Mom? How oh, are you doing, Susie? Susie, yes, I got your email. Every single email that you sent went to the junk folder. However, I found them, so that's all good. And we also have um, who else is here? Chrissy, good night. How are you doing, Chrissy? Nikki Moore, good afternoon from Los Angeles. We have Margaret. We have um, Ravi Chan Chandran. How are you doing, Kate Thomas? Hello, Amina. How are you, Amina Rumbly? That is Lucky Natural I Abir um, Aluju uh, E D. I think I got that right. Who is in England? And it's one. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. We are always trying to come up with the right time to have the show. However, it's very difficult to find a time that everyone can be on. So I do know, and that is why some people tend to watch the show with, you know, like the next day or early in the next morning. All right, guys. So if you are new and you want to join the 25 days challenge, it is still okay to join. What you need to do starting tonight or tom the tomorrow morning, depending on where you're living, you are gonna start steaming your face every day. And if you want to know exactly how to steam the face, you can click on the playlist. We have the playlist with all the videos that pass and it's, and it's titled, vlogmas so you cannot miss it just scroll through the first the second third and fourth video and you will find exactly how to steam your face you will also find in um information and how to take care of your eyes and you also will find information of how to exfoliate your skin so you still can join starting today okay now when it comes on to the weekly add-on guys every day when i introduce a new add-on that is when you are gonna do it however for the time being when you steam and you exfoliate and you cleanse your skin at night you're still gonna continue using your regular skincare products that you normally use on your skin i discovered something today guys i was actually reading up on the history of skincare and yes you know the skincare do comes with a, a history. And what I found out is that um, different era, um, you know, people do different things. But when you, when you go to the grassroots of skincare, it started out with only, only, only natural skincare. So when you take, think about like, you know, um, ancient Egypt, Renaissance and all of these things, ladies were using natural skincare. They were using some of the stuff that we are even using today. However, they did not have, you know, the fancy um, technology to, to, to get those refined products as we so call them. So skincare really start from DIYs, okay? They normally use a lot of aloe vera gel. They normally use a lot of... Um, sugar on their skin they normally use a lot of egg white eggs on a whole on the skin they also use a lot of lemon on the skin believe it or not and 
you know what I also discovered is that a lot of time people think that certain skin color or certain skin tone don't really use like lemon on the skin but if you read up on the history of skincare you will find that it's regardless of color people were using lemon on their skin to get their skin to look a shade lighter or to get their skin to look glowing I learned so much today guys just by reading up on Asian skincare practices and I actually made a small little video <laughs> using some of the remedies which I think I'm gonna post sometime this week for you guys to see it's always good another thing that I notice guys I know this tend to bore a lot of people another thing that I notice is that people are not really interested in the foundation of things people are not really interested in the way things are made people are only interested in the finished product okay so people are just want to go out there I was listening to a lady today and she was so much against DIY and I kind of have an issue with it and that was what actually led me to start reading up on the history of skincare however I do have a little bit of a, a background which I don't really flaunt on my channel when it comes on to science on a whole so I know a thing or two but when you come on and you bash DIY you know like you're gonna be like why are you putting avocado on your face and um, you don't know the um, if the the chemical balance that is in that avocado is good for your face why don't you let the professional you know do it of course we're gonna use some store-bought stuff yes we're gonna use some store-bought stuff we do appreciate the modern technology but I think it is so wrong for someone to talk about you know don't use avocado on your skin because you know things are so cheap nowadays that anyone could go and find you know like a, a, a facial mask to use on the skin I was offended by that and the reason why I'm offended with things like that this is clearly showing me that this person that I was listening to going off on a rampant talking about DIY is no good and shouldn't be used is not exposed to the rest of the world okay when a person is not exposed to the rest of the world they do not know they do not know what goes on in other countries countries outside of their country okay there are still people in this world that do not have running water there are still people in this world that do not have electricity, okay? There are places in this world where women do not have access to all the fancy skincare products that is out there on the market. And that is why I made my show like this. And I don't care what anyone wants to say, like, oh, don't use DIY. Do your history. Go on and research skincare, and you will know that DIY is the foundation of all the fancy $400 facial mask sheet that you're going to get to put on your face. And you will also know that not everyone can afford a $4 or a $1 facial mask. However, should these people be left out? Should these people just shut away and think that, oh, you know, I, I'm not gonna try to you know make my skin look good no no and I, and guess what um it's only about 30 percent only about 30 percent of skincare products out there on the market that are really certified okay and the process of extracting enzyme let's say the process of extracting enzyme from rice who to tell regardless you know I like science yes I do like science but who to tell how much got lost in that extraction someone the, the person was even saying when you cut open a fruit as soon as you cut open the fruit it's lost all the properties that would also mean that if you cut open an orange you leave it on your table and you don't eat it when you go and you eat it then you don't get the full benefit of it because it's all lost there's some truth to the breaking down of products to the breaking down of chemical reaction and all of that kind of uh, stuff but 
open in an orange and leave it for an hour and use it on your face, you're not going to lose all the vitamin C in the orange. And just so, when you cook your food, who to tell how much of that nutrient you're really cooking out of that food. So when it comes on to taking a little avocado and mixing it with some honey or some milk, and put it on your skin, nothing is wrong with that. Don't tell me that there's no benefit to it. Of course, if there was no benefit to apply natural products on the skin, it would mean that there would be no form of a sensitivity. There would be no form of a reaction when you put things on your face. When you put stuff on your face and you have a reaction, it means that it is doing something to the skin. So whether it's a good or a bad reaction, it is working on the skin okay so anyway guys i know 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 i'm going off today i was just so wild up today about you know just watching that and listening people need to be a little bit more exposed and come out of that small box that they're in and when you're going to do things and when you're going to do skincare you might be able to use all the fancy word that you practice like you mentioned and lactic acid and cervic acid I could come on here and I could talk like that. I go to school, I have several degrees, but do I come on on my channel and show off myself? No, because it's not worth it. It's not worth flaunting your degree in people's face. What is good is to help people so that it doesn't matter what walks of life you are from, you can feel good about yourself. And if I can let somebody feel good about themselves by blending some oatmeal and putting it on their face, then my job is successful. My job is rewarding. Do not throw things on people talking about DIY. DIY is the foundation of skincare, and people need to educate themselves. Not because you live, let's say, in America or in England or Europe or these countries that are already, you know, advanced in technology. It doesn't mean that the rest of the world is like that. Not because you can go to the grocery store and you can buy a $2 facial cream. It doesn't mean that everyone can afford to buy a $2 facial cream. Half $2 facial cream, you'll find some good ones, you'll find some bad ones, just the same. You find some good DIY, you find some bad DIY, but we're all in the game and nothing is wrong with a little DIY on the skin. Research the ingredient, research, 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 and research all about skincare and then come and put down DIY. All right, guys, that's my tantrum tonight. If you have any two cents to put into what I'm just talking about, comment, comment, comment comment all right um hello hi hello mo how are you chichi you are naturally so as diy so may you remain as is a natural organic as possible and nature will keep rewarding you with nature beauty and we have joe quitter you are assisting us no worries thank you so much amina you are absolutely right but i guess ignorance is the number one disease that needs to be cured kiwi here here you tell it how it will your truly is all right guys so my face mask um, I have on consistent of consists of rice powder, egg white, yogurt, and lemon, and that is from Sergio Nikki Moore. Right, Chichi, you're telling the truth. Yes, guys. Sometimes I hear things and I have to say things. I start using more natural, more natural when I have to start watching my dollars and using things out of my kitchen. One of my favorite is aloe vera gel. Thank you for that. And we have um. Shero, I think that's how it's pronounced. In the long run, DIY natural remedies are always the best. And we have Jacqueline Martin. You're quite right about the history of cosmetics. They all came from nature production, definitely. Kim Gordon, I start frankincense oil, add vitamin E with vitamin D to my wrinkle space. Thanks. And I let us give us an update on how that is working for you. And guess what, guys? I think Lucia's law. Uh, um, as la left the chat i am not sure if she's having technical issues but as soon as she get it fixed i think she will be back all right guys so we are moving on now for those of you who are exfoliating steaming taking care of your eyes let me know right now because we are going to talk about our add-on in a minute 
Eula, thanks you for sharing all the information. You're welcome. So if you're just joining, guys, what we are actually doing is a 25 days challenge, 25 days to beautiful skin, 25 days to spotless, wrinkle-free skin. Every night for the next 21, we're at 21 tonight days, we're having a live, and our live is at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard every single night until 25th of December. Every night we're doing an add-on, meaning that every night you're going to get something new to do to your skin the next day and to keep doing what you were doing before. At the end of the 25 days, we are going to try to see some before and after pictures to show you know the difference in your skin. I am guaranteeing you guys that once you follow the 25 days, you should look much, much better where your skin is concerned. Your skin should be looking radiant and glowing. So this is a challenge, guys. So if you want the chat to join the challenge, you are not late. You can actually start tonight. What you miss is steaming. We're steaming every night or every day. Choose the time of day that you could steam your face. We are also exfoliating the skin. However, we are exfoliating every other day. And you can go on the channel page and you can find some, you know, products, some remedies to exfoliate your skin. Or you can use your own personal facial scrub to exfoliate. We are also taking care of the areas around our eyes. We have several remedies on the channel that you can try. Or you can use your own personal eye cream or eye serum the trick is to exfoliate and you could watch over day 23 to see how to take care of your eyes and we are also doing a facial mask now because you need to sit with the facial mask on your skin for at least 30 minutes what we have decided to do is to let you do it only twice per week however if you want to do it more than at least four times for the week it's up to you but at least two times for the week and you have three weeks to do that so at the end of the three weeks you would have complete at least six facial mask um, treatment okay so that is where we are and tonight we're gonna have another add-on also if you're just joining because we're doing 25 days challenge to beautiful skin we're also giving away 25 gifts so every night we're giving away one gift sometimes we give away two how to enter is to comment under tonight chat every night you come on comment under that chat the word of the day now each night the word of the day you comment it on the chat we take it up we put it in a bag like this one and the next night we draw it now the names in this bag is from last night show show so you're not gonna be in the bag if you weren't on last night so you need to come back every night to make sure your name is in a bag at least at the end of the 25 days we're going to take all the names and we're going to put it in one bag for the big drawing we are not sponsored this is not a sponsored video we get our funding from our members of the channel and we also make it up i also you know put some um funds on it to make up for the gifts so guess what guys now is the time to guess what is the word of the night. What do you think we are going to add next to our facial challenge? Go ahead, guys. Comment, 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 and let us know what you think we are going to be adding on. Go ahead and comment. Go ahead and comment. All right, so let's see. Susie, I'm very grateful. Makeup Forever, cleansing or toning. Susie Kiwi, mask. Maya, hi, Maya. Um, toner, Loretta, toner, um, Chrissy, toner, Jackie Mom. Don't forget the face massage and don't forget to put the mask on your neck. Thank you for that. And break up a people, massage, and um, un, 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 I think that is tone, Nikki, moisturize, Lisa, moisturize, K Thomas, tone, Lolet, the neck. And Faithlin, next one is toning. And Jacqueline, I made an aloe and egg white and a drop of aloe 
um, olive oil for my eyes. Was that okay? A drop of egg white. I actually got someone asking about the egg white for the eyes. I personally do not encourage the egg white for your under eyes. And the reason for that, it do dry and sometimes it's very hard to peel off. So that's why I always try to apply the, you know, go close to the eyes when I do use the egg white. I would have preferred to use the egg um, yolk for that since it contains all of that uh, protein and it's really um, less drying on the skin. So omit the egg white, but the other two ingredients you have is really, really good. All right, um, palette toner. So most people think that we are going to be using the word of the day as a toner. Now, we are actually not going to be using toning tonight. And I'm going to tell you why we're not using toning. We're not using toning because not everyone tone. And toning is actually a very, very good, but that could actually come after. That could actually come after. Okay? So you should be toning, to be honest. When you wash your face, you ex when you steam, you exfoliate, and you do all of that, and I told you to carry on with your regular, you know, products and stuff that you add, you should be putting a facial toner on your skin. However, guys, when you exfoliate your skin, when you steam your face, what I would really like you guys to start doing is to do your facial massages. And that is the word of the night facial massage someone said earlier and the reason why we have to start the facial massages now tonight is because we have only 21 more days now we all well i personally know that facial massages work but you're going to see awesome results if you spend 20 days massaging your face now we decided that we're steaming every night and this is the next trouble you're gonna massage your face for 21 more days. Now this is gonna be pretty, 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 pretty easy because I made a video that is on the Black Channel showing you how you can massage your face in just five minutes. Five minutes. And if you're an oldies but goodies on the show, you already know how to massage your face because we massage our face almost in every one of our DIY video where we apply products on the skin. So the odd on tonight is going to be massaging your face. Now, some of you might not be comfortable with massaging the face, and that's why I take the time to make that five minutes video. It is on the Black Channel, and you can actually go on the Black Channel. The link to the Black Channel is below, and I will also put the link to that video below. Or you can go on Community, and you if you, most people watching on their phone anyway, so click on Community, and you will find the five minutes massaging a video. Now, why do we massage the face? Mostly for circulation. When you massage your boots in circulation, boots in blood flow to the skin. And when that happens, it causes your skin to look more fuller, more plumper, and not only that, it helps to activate the collagen production. The reason why collagen slows down is because the blood flow tend to, you know, cut back. When you age, everything starts to shut down. So in order for you to help it to stay up a little longer or to keep going, then you ex massage your face. Now, if you are massaging your face, you're going to target the area that is most problematic to you. On the video, I focus on the forehead. I focus on the laugh line. I do a bit of a jawline. Now, you're also going to add, which you're already doing, the eye massage. If you missed the other three, four nice guys, go back and watch because we already show you how to massage the areas around your eyes. And it's as simple as this. When it comes on to the forehead, this is very, very simple to just use your fingers and massage your forehead. I could actually sit with you right now and do my five minutes facial massage. And then you hold one side and you just do it like that, hold the other side, you do it like that, and you keep repeating that about 10 to 15 times. When it comes on to your laugh lines, 
mostly, which is pretty easy. Two fingers here, press it right here, bring it down and take it all the way to the temple and you hold that and you do that, you repeat that about 10 to 15 times. You can also choose to massage your neck by doing it in upward strokes, okay? Whatever you do to your face, you do it to the rest of your neck and your decollete. So the word of the night is massage or facial massages, whichever you choose. So if you are watching, what you need to do is to comment facial massage or massages, and while you're at it, give the video a thumbs up to show your support and also to show your contribution to you know our channel. That is the way the system, that is the way the system know that you are liking the chat or the live chat and also guys if you comment tonight you will be able to enter into the drawing now if you have any question and message feel free to comment go ahead guys comment i'm taking questions and then we are gonna move on around about 10 minutes before the show is over we're gonna be doing the drawing of the Give, um, given from last night. So I'm taking a few questions and then we are going to move on. Just checking in with Lucy. All right, so let's take some questions. Um, do you use lotion with massage? Okay, that is actually a very, very good question. Some people do use lotion. However, for me, I think that you should, lotion is for the body, okay? So normally we don't say lotion for the face. Um, some countries, people might say lotion overall. But a facial serum can massage your face. A facial moisturizer can massage your face. A facial oil can massage your face. Now, if you're applying lotion to your body, nothing is wrong with using that lotion to massage the body also, okay? So definitely, but most people will use a oil to massage the face. Personally, for me, I use whatever I'm putting on my face to massage it in my skin. So go ahead, use your serum, use your moisturizer, or use your facial oil to massage your face. Now when you're gonna massage your face, you do not need a lot, just a drop or two of whatever you are using. Once you massage your face, if you feel you need a little more of your facial products, then you rub it in your hands and press it on your skin. That's all you have to do. Now, um. Oh, 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 okay, all right, all right, guys. So, because I was just trying to figure out what happened to Lucy, so Lucy's not gonna be back on. We are so sorry. I guess I will have to call her after the show. So, the fact that the moderator is not on, maybe we should postpone the drinking game. If you think we should postpone the drinking game, because then I would have to choose someone else to answer, to, you know, select the questions, which might be a little difficult. So we probably should postpone and we are giving some love to Lucy. We are, I know something was wrong. I just couldn't put my hands on it. At first I was like, and I know Lucy don't mind me saying these things, at first, I was like, oh, my goodness, Lucy's going to be like, why, am, why are you going to be drinking on the show? Like, why are you going to be drinking? But then I to scroll back, and I noticed that um, she was off even before without me knowing that the um, I mentioned the drinking. I think she was off before that. So, oh, I'm so sorry. That's not good news at all. Um, surely, surely, miss. It's like I can't function without her on the show. But anyway, Lucy, feel better, and I'm definitely going to call you after the show. Guys, should we not do the drinking game tonight since Lucy is not here? You guys know Lucy 
who make the show really so should we postpone it and then just talk about skincare and then monday night we probably should do that let me know just comment guys and let me know how you guys feel i was all ready to go but let's know if we should postpone our little fun thing that we have planned for tonight comment 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 guys so it's a live show guys things happen and um everything is unpredictable she's on the sofa with a bag of frozen corn on her knees she's so old school um can't, she can hear you from afar uh, lucy feel better i definitely gonna call you after the show what were you doing stop rushing and stop ever cleaning the house is around. what was she doing she probably was trying to clean something guys i mean i'm gonna hear lucy business out on the show guys lucy is always cleaning just so you know and she's normally up at night like three four five o'clock i'm on my computer waking up and lucy's still up right so anyway i'm really sorry um that happened so yes yeah, some everyone is say yeah let's postpone it for tonight because it's not gonna be fun without lucy and for you guys who might be just joining or if this is your first time on the live chat lucy is our moderator she's the one that really balanced this show like just make things happen like that so we had something planned for tonight however it's not gonna be fun without lucy here to be honest because she would be the one that would be able to pick out all the good questions and stuff like that so what we're gonna do we're gonna continue talking about um skincare and you know let's talk about massaging the skin and so on and so forth so ha go ahead and ask the question and lucy we're sending out a lot of love to you we are so sorry for that all right guys let's um so don simit this is your first time welcome to the chat if you want to catch up don you could go on the playlist that and mark vlogmas um plus giveaway something like that is the title of the playlist and you could catch up on all of what is going on now um alfonso thank you for contributing your two dollars who is this and what does what do you mean by who is this i do know alfonso i'm not sure if this is you but anyway um then we have um who else is on the chat that is new ask questions so we could fill you in on what is going on sharon ferguson connecting from jamaica hello kim garden please definitely postpone and yes guys you could definitely feel the vibes that it's not gonna be you know all that without lucy maria how hot water makes skin dry hot water makes skin dry yes if you put uh, too much hot water on your skin it will make your skin dry however you would have to be like in the hot water for a long long time when you steam your face it really does not dry out your skin because that the process of steaming is vapor and it do contain water yeah i need to to go what's oh you need to know what's going on okay so this is a live show and um we're doing our vlogmas on youtube they all have vlog vlogmas but we're doing vlogmas as a live show and we're having a skincare challenge the challenge is we have 25 days to take care of our skin to see what is going to happen to see how our skin is going to look at in 25 days now i am guaranteeing that the skin will look more healthier the skin will look more brighter and most people will start to see a more natural glow to the skin and also if people have a lot of hyperpigmentation and blackheads and stuff like that it will decrease tremendously that is our goal and we are also doing before and after picture now along with you know doing our skincare challenge we are also doing a giveaway so every night we're giving away a prize every night we have the word of the day and the word of the day is normally what we're going to be doing to our face for that day added on and on and on until the 25th so every other night every night we draw we put the name whoever comments word of the day 
we put the name in the bag and then we do a drawing and that's basically what it is so we are on here every night until december 25th 7 30 p.m eastern standard time it is not too late for you to join the challenge if you want to it's something to do it's something to challenge yourself with when it comes on to skincare some people you know never ever stick to it like they start today they want their skin to look good but they you know this minute they do a facial mask tomorrow they don't this is a way of you know pushing yourself to take care of your skin hopefully if you do the 25 days challenge it will encourage you to go into next year 2021 to take care of yourself that's basically what we're doing on the chat thank you and guys in case you don't know what Alfonso did just did the dollar sign at the bottom, I don't talk about it, but the dollar sign at the bottom of the chart, if you have a question like he just did, you can actually click on the dollar sign, contribute something to get your question answered. So that is what he just did, and that is what the dollar sign is there for, because then your question would be highlighted and everyone could see it, more so me, so that I could answer the question. Now, how do I join the challenge? You join the challenge by just listening in and following suit. So far, you can go back and watch the videos in the playlist of Vlogmas. You, ex you steam your face every night for the rest of the 25 nights. If you do not know how to steam, watch the video to see how to steam your face. You exfoliate your skin and we do a bit of a recipes sharing for exfoliating you can find recipes on this channel or you can use your own or you can go on the vlog channel and you can find some recipes you exfoliate your skin every other night for 25 days and you do a facial mask so far we are at facial mask you do a facial mask at least two times a week so every two days you do a facial mask or you can do it every other day if you wish and you also need to take care of your eyes every day you're going to clean the areas around your eyes because your eyes tend to ache you and what we're trying to do is to help people to get rid of puffy eyes eye pads and dark circles in 25 days so the, tr the the remedy for the eyes is also on the vlog channel but we also have a playlist on this channel with a lot of remedies that you can try for your dark under eyes or you can actually use whatever products that you already have for your the eyes to you know do the challenge the trick is you got to do it every night okay so even if you're using your own store-bought stuff you can still do the challenge by just steaming exfoliating and taking care of your eyes and tonight the word of the night is facial massage so for the next 21 days you're gonna do a five minutes facial massage to your face your neck and your decollete we have several videos on the channel showing you how to massage but i make a five minute video which is on the black channel that you can use along for the 25 days to massage your face amazing amazing quick easy and work like a charm so that is where we are so if you have a question go ahead and comment and also guys along the way we do a little chit chat we talk about stuff we talk about you know family i give history of my life and so on and so forth it's an interactive show so so feel free to um comment and join in and if you're still watching and you have not yet thumbs the video up thumbs the video up. tonight we were gonna have a drinking game and the drinking game we're gonna have it i think we're gonna schedule it for monday what is gonna be is that you're gonna get a chance to ask me you know some really serious questions right whether it's on skincare or personal and if i don't feel like answering the question then i will have to drink if i ans can answer five out of ten questions it means that i will have to give away at least five more gifts so that's what we were going to do tonight and i was all i know look what i have here but anyway that's going to be on monday because our moderator just have a little issue going on she you know have a little um miss up a little freak accident so we decide to postpone it because most people here are like my dieted subscribers so they really know you know how important the moderator is to the show and also the fact that we were going to do question where some people might be a little rude if they're like new to the show 
we don't have her here to read out, you know, certain things. So we postpone it. So you don't want to miss Monday show. Monday, we are going to do the drinking game, okay? And tomorrow, guys, for those of you who watch Sunday Chit Chat, which is our regular series, we're still going to have Sunday Chit Chat. Now, Sunday Chit Chat is not a part of the challenge. Therefore, tomorrow, we will have two shows because we cannot skip for the challenge. So we will have Sunday Chit Chat at our regular time, which is going to be at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sunday Chit Chat has been running now for the past, what, three to three and a half years or something like that. The challenge is just for 25 days. So we'll have Sunday Chit Chat from 4.30 to 5.30 and then we'll come back for our regular Vlogmas 25 days challenge at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, guys, so we're gonna take some questions and then we are gonna do our drawing. We normally do the drawing at a quarter two well, let's take a few questions and then we do the drawing if you're still watching and you have not yet thumbs the video up thumbs the video up to show your support to the channel also if you're new and you have a question you want to join the channel the challenge comment comment so we could actually fill you in and get you you know going and if you have a question that you want to ask that you don't want to ask it on the chat then you need to email chitibuti at gmail.com Jackie Mom, so I watched a video from Demic today and found out that if you rub the banana skin on your teeth, it will whiten down. Now, I also have a, a video showing you how to use the banana peel. About four years ago, I made a video using the banana peel. Banana peel really, 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 really works. It works to lighten the skin and get rid of hyperpigmentation. So that's why if you go and you watch some of the videos that I do use banana in, I would scrape the inner part of the peel and add it to whatever I'm making, whether the facial mask or whether, you know, for getting rid of skin tag and also for whitening the teeth. It works. And it's really good to clean the shoes. That's the one that has actually blown me away. If you have any form of a leather shoes and you take that banana peel and you rub it on it, it's like a natural polish. Really, really work. All right, Nikki Moore, how often do you massage? For the challenge, you're going to massage your face for the rest of the challenge, 21 days. On a regular I massage my face every time I'm using a facial moisturizer, but at least two to three times a week, if you have the time, spend 15 minutes, not the five minutes that you're doing for the challenge, spend 15 minutes and really massage your face. It works like a charm. For those of you who are getting on in age and you're seeing wrinkles and fine lines, Practice to massage your face. If there's one thing that you need to take away from the challenge when it's over, is to know how to massage your face, okay? Works like a charm. It really helps, okay? But you got to keep doing it. You cannot do it tonight and then you don't do it till next week. It's not gonna work like that. You gotta be dedicated to it, but at least three times a week for 15 minutes. For the channel, we're only massaging five minutes every day until the 25th okay all right so um let's take another question um barbara what do you put on on the eyes you're gonna use a eye cream if you have one if you don't look on my channel you're gonna find some you know mix up remedies for the eyes using mostly oil if you have any of the oil that we call special oil like rosehip oil or squalene oil or even marula oil or the good old coconut oil you can use a drop under your eyes and if you have like parsley we have a remedy we post the other night you can do it tomorrow i'm coming up with a i think i might post it tomorrow a good remedy for puffy eyes and eye bags so you guys keep watching out for these little short videos that i'm making that you can actually use while you're doing the challenge okay all right so um Miss G M S G E E, what's good for dark spot on the cheeks? Well, any form of a skin lightening remedies is good for dark spot. More so, you can use anything that is rich in vitamin C. We have a serum coming up this week, guys, which is amazing. Like a vitamin C rich serum. We also post one 
this morning, I think, there's a vitamin C serum that is um, moisturizer that is that is post this morning that is really, really, really good that you definitely should look into. If you do not have the vitamin C powder, you can choose to use dried orange peel or lemon peel powder. Really, really good. So anything with vitamin C like citric fruit, like lemon, tomato, tomato with the lipopene, and you can use potatoes juice. You can also mix potato juice with lemon juice, a little milk, and use it on as a facial on a mask sheet to help to get rid of dark spots and blemishes on the skin. Nikki Moore, how do you feel about over-the-counter bleaching cream for acne scars? Now, I'm gonna keep it real with you. There's a lot of people that use over-the-counter what is considered bleaching cream for acne scar. There's one thing that you're gonna notice when it comes on to acne scars. Most people that use bleaching cream for acne scar will have their skin still looking spotted. Guess why their skin is still looking spotted? Because they tend to rub that cream all over their skin so the lighter areas is getting lighter and even though the spots and blemishes is getting lighter but it's not even okay now the like here in america the standard for beauty um for bleaching cream should be no more than two percent hydroquin okay no more than two percent hydroquin do i have an issue with people trying to get rid of certain kinds of spots on their skin using 2% hydroquin? No, I don't. But you got to know how to use it because some people have really severe, severe, severe patches and stuff like that on their skin. The trick is is a tooth, um, what they call a thing, a Q-tip. A Q-tip and you do not, you got to read, you got to read, you got to read. I got, one day I'm going to pick out some emails guys and i'm gonna just make a show reading emails to you guys and this is no joke okay i get emotional when i speak about this you would be surprised the amount of emails that i receive on a daily with people complaining about using certain kinds of bleaching products on their skin that actually ruin their skin i'm gonna sit one day i hope i can and read like probably about 20 or 30 emails just to you. When you're doing your taking care of your skin, you got to know what you're doing. And that is why it's always good to read, okay? I am not gonna come on here and say, oh no, no, don't use no form of bleaching anything on your skin. But you gotta know what you're using. If you go to your dermatologist and there are certain issues going on with your skin, they will, um, um, prescribe some form of a uh, bleaching cream however it should not be more than two percent now there are other stuff on the market that is way more than two percent and other things and this could cause a severe damage to the skin so you got to know what you are doing and you got to know the amount the recommended dosage of things that need to be you know on your skin especially when chemical is involved okay i could open a avocado or grate some potato and use it on my skin but when it comes on to these things that you make in the lab with you know a certain amount of acid and all of that you should know that it's not supposed to be over the recommended amount so i hope i make that clear to you guys and yes guys you can ask me any question like that i am all educated enough on this matter to give advice as i said earlier in the show i just don't flaunt it okay all right so let's move on i didn't start my show based on anything like that and i don't want to bring it in now i know if i did from day one maybe i would have like five million subscribers now right but no i want this to be just something i'm doing for me doing for you i just start my channel want my channel to be just me just all about me just all about me and you guys nothing you know fancy and you know you guys understand where i'm coming from with this um rose quartz rollers for facial massage yes 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 we're gonna give away some too i have a whole set of things here that i'm gonna be um giving away guys um yeah i i actually have um a couple of them let me see this one this one is like a eye massager wand somebody's gonna get something like that i'm so excited guys yes yeah, so yeah world squat um 
jade roller, ice roller, anything like that. All these gadgets that, you know, technology now produce for us. If you can get them, if you can, if you have access to them, go ahead, use them. And guess what? They will make your skin look even better using your natural DIY stuff along and in and. Things goes on in and, okay? So definitely I'm all for it. And spin brushes and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm all for it. As a matter of fact, I actually have like, see, I have one here. This is not a sponsored video. We're not advertising any form of a brand or anything like that. But like these, I think I have two of these they sent me and I'm going to be giving them away also. So definitely, definitely. Yes, yes, yes. Now let's take some more questions. We're moving on. Rowena, um, how to to get rid of wrinkles and get firm skin on the face. Now, getting rid of wrinkles, massaging gonna work. Firming and tightening the skin, you're gonna use natural skin tightening, or even if you're gonna buy facial mask out there, it's gonna be geared towards tightening and firming, and these normally come in anti-aging products, okay? So, vitamin A is a form of a retinol, that is one vitamin that will help to boost collagen production in the skin. It will also help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines. So anything rich in vitamin A. Personally, for me, I like to use a good old vitamin A oil or oils that are high in vitamin A, such as rosehip oil, such as cacao oil, such as quaaline oil, and the new found natural retinol, which is the batchy oil. I like to use those kind of oils on my skin. So gear towards vitamin A. What was the second part of your question? Oh, the firming of the skin. The, a good facial mask to firm the skin is the egg white. The egg white and the potato, that video I made, that combination, thumbs up. It's really, really good. Any form of a clay, full as earth, um, green clay, brown clay, orange clay, Moroccan clay, French clay, all of that contains vital minerals from the ground. It, it contains all the electrolytes and that will have to tighten and firm the skin. What do you mix the clay with? You can mix it with milk, you can mix it with green tea, you can mix it with coffee, and all of these are also wrinkle fighting natural ingredients. So skin tightening, eggs, and also clay. And if you have none of those, another good substitute is oatmeal. Oatmeal will have to exfoliate the skin, but it also has skin tightening properties. And it's loaded with the starch, and it's a starch that is going to help to tighten the skin. What do you do? You add other things to it that are high in vitamin A, such as your good rosehip oil or any other oil that you like to use with vitamin A. And that's it. However, you got to do it on a regular. If you use skin tightening facial mask with a good facial massage, or if you practice the five minutes massage, for the next 21 days with us, you're gonna be blown away of how different, how more firmer and lifted and tight and firm your skin is. I have a joke for you guys. I'm sweating today, I'm watching the time. I have a joke for you guys. Someone, and I was looking to see if the person is on the chat today. I, I actually received compliment today on my chat, not my chat, my comment section. So someone comment on one of the video I post. I think I post that video yesterday or the one this morning and the person was actually saying you're talking about people at your age however you cannot be like something like that more than about 28 to probably i i 32 i think the person said um not to be rude but lol meaning that i'm a fake because i come in on talking about you know, pretending like I'm older when I am can be more than 32. So I was a little flattered, but guess what? My subscribers, you guys are something else. Somebody come on and comment. No, she is 51. And guess what? Somebody else comment on the dear. No, going on to 52. <laughs> I have a ball of a time. I was like laughing so much because the honest truth, that is true. I am going on to 52. However, guys, you will notice that my thumbnails are going to remain 50 look 30, okay? I ain't going to go over 30, but for you who normally watch my channel a lot, like this person that come and said almost 
52, going on to 52, meaning that person know that I talk about, that person probably even know my birthday, okay? So that was like a really good compliment. Another good compliment that I got this week was someone was watching an old video, an old video, a three years old video, and she was like watching your you know, video from three years ago, watching video in 2020, you are living proof of what you do. And I normally tell people to go back and watch my older videos. I really normally do because I was a product junkie, okay? I was a product junkie, meaning I used to buy a lot of skincare products for my skin. And that is the truth. I even started out my channel doing beauty videos. I like skincare products. So not because I do DIY, it doesn't mean I don't like skincare products. However, since I start doing my DIY, I notice that my skin looks fresher. And that is the honest truth. Now, when we talk about DIY, we don't mean that we don't buy nothing from the store. We do. I bought all the nice oils that I share with you guys. I just choose to buy more natural products like the natural squalene oil, avocado oil, and so on and so forth. So when people sometimes talk about you know DIY, sometimes they think that DIY is only about using a banana on the face. No, it is a part of it, but we also combine this with a lot of natural stuff like avocado oil, grapeseed oil, we do olive oil and all of these. And that's how people eat when they're eating clean also. They pick and choose certain kinds of you know oils or certain kind of food to eat. So nothing is wrong with picking and choosing what kind of uh, products to use on the skin. All right, we are moving on. Do you have a brightening body oil recipe that clear acne scar for the rest of the body. No, however, this week I post a video showing you how you can you exfoliate your back. That is also good for people with a lot of like spots and blemishes and acne on the back. Now you're asking for a cream. In that recipe, I do use tea tree oil and I use a little bit of apple cider vinegar. These are two ingredients that are known to help to get rid of acne, especially back acne. So you can choose to use those two, mix it, blend it, and use it on your back. I think you asked for skin lightening or acne. Let's see, I went off on, oh, brightening oil rest. Oh yes, so you did, so I'm on track, yes. So go ahead and look at that video. It is on the channel page, okay? Really, really good, it is really good. And I'm not saying that because I made it. I know that it's good because I share it with others, okay? All right, so, um, Jar Lear, L A I R D G G. I start seeing great results already. You are so amazing, girl. I love your channel and thank you so much for that. And this is no joke, guys. I know for some people they might think, oh, DIY, oh, DIY. Whatever you do, this is something that I needed to say earlier, guys. When it comes onto the skin, okay, let's keep it real. When it comes onto the skin, if you wash your skin, exfoliate your skin on a regular, and make sure to you know add a little oil or a little moisturizer to your skin and you do it daily your skin will look good your skin will look good because you are maintaining your skin you're taking care of your skin but how many people really follow up and do it religiously okay how many people really do it religiously we sometimes don't. This week we all fun and game. Next week we like, ah, I can't be bothered and all of that. And that is why, you know, people don't see results. So if you want to see results, you got to keep doing what you're doing. Follow this challenge, guys. Follow the challenge. I do know sometimes some of you are going to slip off, but catch right back up and get on. But at least for a week or two, guys, just follow the challenge just to see what would happen. I am sure some of you are going to be like really shocked that you could achieve that much, you know, look to the skin in such a short time. It's all about dedication. And I will talk about this a few videos back when it comes on to like celebrity. A lot of people like, oh, celebrities because they have the money. Why the skin looks so good? Like, no, it's dedication. You could have millions of dollars if you don't spend the time and dedicate yourself to taking care of your skin. 
your skin not gonna look good you got to spend that time and that's what you need to do even in your small little world okay your small little space that you have in this world spend the time and take care of yourself so you can feel good about yourself and you're not doing this for the hobby you're not doing this for the kids you're not doing this for your co-workers you are doing this for you so you're not trying to get your skin looking nice to go find a boyfriend I mean you can you can you know what I mean but you want to do this for you because the boyfriend come and the boyfriend call, go, the husband come, the husband go, the children get grown, the classmate go, the co-worker go, everybody go, and what you're left with is yourself. So whatever you're going to do, do it for you. Do it for you and stop procrastinating. Get up and take care of yourself. At the end of the day, who do you have but yourself? You're not going to get a new face. Some people do try to get a new face. It's the same face. It doesn't matter how much you tighten and firm using you know all these modern technology it's gonna sag again because we can't stop the agent process we can only slow it down but it's one face you have okay it's one neck you ain't gonna get a new neck so take care of it and guess why you even need to take care of it more because people are living longer people are living longer you don't want to live to 90 and you can't see your skin because it's so wrinkled no you can have to slow it down by swinging into 90 with you know a few wrinkles because you will get wrinkles but at the same time you could be like oh i look good for 90. you understand what i'm saying guys so do it for you so my time is got up guys the word of the day if you join late is a facial massage oh my goodness guys no see this is what happened when lucy is not here i totally forget <laughs> and nobody's reminding me like um nobody's reminding me okay guys is that time of night when we are gonna do the giveaway so the way the giveaway works guys is that you comment the word of the day under the live video i also do pull names after the show is over and the reason why because some of our subscribers is now sleeping some of our you know die artist subscribers so i give them the chance to watch the video when it posts and comment on it also but all the names are in the bag. I don't think this is unfair because most people that watch the videos after are really subscribers. It's not like new people come on and just coming on to get present. And if you notice, we do not put it in the title of the video that we're doing the giveaway, okay? Because, you know, we want this to be more geared towards our subscribers and people who are really here with us for the show and not for the gifts, if you know what I mean. All right, guys, so I am going to be drawing... A name from the bag. And when I pull a name, you have 48 hours to get in touch with me with your phone number, your home address, and your real name so that we could send you your gift. We're not waiting for the 25th to start to send the gifts out because I don't want it to pile up on me. So as soon as we get your information, we are sending off the gift. If I don't hear from you in 24, 20. I said 48 guys what did i say last night 24 hours i think i'll give 48 hours if i don't hear from you then we normally pull a second name which we don't reveal and then we will give the gift to the second person sometimes we have little extra gift given apart from the main gift like last night i'm not sure if we're doing that tonight since you know but we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see so i'm gonna pull the name and let's see let's see so we have elaine garbar jamaican born in canada facial massage beauty chinier facial massage all right guys so i'm coming up with the name <sighs> maria espino maria espino Maria Espino, if you're on the chat, let us know if you're on the chat. Maria Espino, you are tonight winner for a gift out of our 25 gift. You have 48 hours to get in touch with me with your name, your address, and your phone number. Very, very important. So our name is Maria Espina, Espino. Let's see if you're here. Maria is 
Well, Lucy is not here to let me know if Maria is here. Maria, if you are here, comment, comment, comment. All right, all right. Finally, we have somebody that is here. And Elizabeth um, Eckerman, Elizabeth, I don't remember if I see your information, but you actually won um, last night, I think. So make sure you send your email. I need to check. You might have sent it and I didn't check the email. But tonight we also have Maria Espinon. So you are the winner of tonight. Now, guys, as usual, should I pull another name? I think I'm all Mary and I'm going to pull another name. However, the second gift is not going to be as valuable as the first gift. So we're going to give away another gift tonight, but it's not going to be the price tag of the first gift, but it's still going to be a little token. If you're just joining, welcome. Give the video a thumbs up if you have not yet comment. And also, um, okay, all right, so definitely I will check. And also, guys, join us for the rest of the 21 days. We have a lot of surprises coming up. And normally every year since we start our show, we have our annual giveaway, which we normally do sometime around Christmas Day. We decide to change things up a little bit, but that will be our grand finale of, you know, doing giving back to you guys. So, you know, subscribe. Yeah, I don't normally be pressuring people to subscribe, but it would be nice if you subscribe and it would be nice if you watch our videos and give it a thumbs up and all of that. And if you want to be a member, so that you can contribute to the gift giving then you can actually click on the join button below so all right so we congratulations to maria espinano send your information you were here yesterday you're here today so you know exactly what to do and it's gmail chichibuti at gmail.com so we're pulling another name I figure I'm going to get your information, Maria. So should I still pull the name in case you don't send your number and your information? I don't think so, but I think you're going to send it. So what is on this, guys? I'm turning it backwards so I can't see. Maybe you guys can read it before me. No? All right, so let's turn it around. Whoa! This is kind of crazy. Wow. Isn't this crazy, guys? Look at this. Maria... Calder, this is kind of crazy. Maria Calder, our second drawing is Maria Calder. First drawing is Maria is a lucky name. <laughs> Maria es es Espino for the first prize, and the second prize is Maria Calder. If you are here, Maria Calder, comment, comment, comment. And I have not seen Maria, Maria Calder on the chat, but you have 48 hours to get in touch with us. If you don't get in touch with us, we are going to give the prize to someone else. However, since we received, since we received, tell me if this is fair, guys. Since so far we receive all the names of the winners, do you think that those um, two names that I pulled from the night before, should I leave them there in case I don't get this person information? Or do you think it's fair to pull from the bag the same night in case, so the night that that person don't um, respond, then the person from that bag would just go on and on. What do you think, guys? Let me know. I'm thinking that maybe I should pull from the bag and put it away since so those two names up there we discard them because the show goes on and on all right so so the second winner is maria calder so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pull a name we're not looking at it and we're gonna put it away if we don't hear from maria calder in 48 hours then the gift is going to go to that person that we put on the deer, which we won't say. So, yes, somebody say pull from the back. All right, guys, so that's our winner tonight, Maria S. Pino, who is on the show. Know what to do. Our second Maria, I don't see on the show, so definitely we are holding on. She has 48 hours to come back. Most people watch the show when it's over anyway, so we'll see how it goes. If you're just joining, the word of the night is facial massage and let's go over what you guys need to do for the challenge and then i'm out of here 
for the challenge so far you're gonna be steaming so you're still gonna be steaming your face every night I gave you three different ways to steam your face you can use a facial steamer you can do the old method with the um, steam of the water coming up you can even use a kettle you know with the steam coming up like your facial steamer you can use a wash rod put it in hot water make sure that is you know you can touch your skin put it over your face steam it for five minutes or you can use hot water in the shower let the hot water beat on your face for you know make sure you can tolerate that steam for about you know three to four minutes and that's the way you steam so you have no reason not to steam your face because you can do it in several different ways Barbara Spence I'm Jamaica living in England um, Joy Lord, congratulations to Maria. All right, so that's the steaming. The next thing that we're doing, we're exfoliating our skin. Exfoliating is simple scrubbing your face. Now, when we use the word scrub, we don't mean that you're gonna like rub off your whole skin like that. No, you're gonna gentle exfoliate your skin. You can choose to exfoliate every other day for the challenge, or you can choose to exfoliate at least three to four times for the week. We suggest that you do at least three times or more for the challenge you're also going to make sure to take care of your eyes every day for the next 25 days well so far we're at 21 to do that you're going to take a special cloth and clean the areas around the eyes if you're not sure exactly how to really clean the areas around your eyes go and look at day two no day three go and look at day three and you will see exactly how to clean your eyes not only that exactly how to massage the areas around your eyes for it to look young and fresh you're also going to do a facial mask for the challenge we suggest you do at least two for the week however you can choose to do your facial mask every other day you 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 scrub today you mask tomorrow okay so choose but you got to make sure to do it at least two times a week no pressure but no less than two times for the week. Choose your days. Write it down on a piece of paper, what you do today, what you do tomorrow. And now we're adding the facial massage. So this is where we are. Every night or every morning, you're gonna massage your face. Now we do not expect you to spend half an hour massaging your face. Most people are short on time. So we break it down to five minutes per day. And I have a video on my blog channel showing you how you could quickly massage your face in five minutes okay so you can go ahead and look at that five minutes every day however if you have the time you can massage your face your neck and your decollete for about 10 minutes per day okay it's up to you but do it at least five and how do you do it so that you don't kill time you take one bird and kill no one stone and kill two birds and that is use your serum or use your facial moisturizer or your facial oil to massage your face while you are applying it on your skin then you are massaging your face and that way you're not gonna feel like you spend this entire time massaging your face so that is where we are in the challenge and day 21 tomorrow is gonna be 20 days to 25 so guys get yourself ready also take before and after pictures because we're going to be sharing some of the before and after pictures on our show and also on some of our thumbnails with your permission. So that is it, guys. So if you are a watcher of Sunday Chit Chat, which is, you know, more regular live show, we still will be having our Sunday Chit Chat tomorrow, 4.30. However, for our Vlogmas Live Challenge, we are going to still have it tomorrow at the regular time at 7 30 p.m eastern standard so we are having two shows to tomorrow because you know the challenge is different from the regular sunday chit chat so you can choose to join in for both shows they are so different and the regular subscribers are still going to join for the vlog for the sunday chit chat however be prepared that tomorrow we're going to have more people watching the challenge because some of them are not even aware that we're doing the challenge so 
be mindful of that. All right. So what information do you need on the email? I need your real name. I need your own address and I need your phone number. Okay. That's what we need because we're going to be mailing out the gifts to you. So we need that information. All right, guys, my time is up. I love you guys. And Lucy, I'm going to call you as soon as I am up right now to find out what is going on. Join us tomorrow, guys, for day 20 to 25 in our series, Countdown to the Holidays with Chichi Beauty. Have a great evening. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Go and watch the video with the serum that I post, guys, with the vitamin C powder. Really, really good. Really, really good. Go and watch it. And if you have the ingredients, go ahead and do it. I love her right back, Magnolia. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great weekend. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Really, really important.